The Chemicals M&A Report 2016 uh, that was just published, um, uh, as usual, consists of three portions. Uh, we look back at the year of 2015 and we ask uh, more than 50 executives in the Chemicals M&A space to give us their views on uh, what they expect uh, of the uh, current year um, in, in Chemicals M&A space. Uh, in addition, we are very proud that uh, we got a, an interesting interview with Sam Feinstein from Apollo, um, and which is also printed in this report. For 2016, we expect uh, a record year. Um, quite obviously, if you just look at the announced deals that have not yet been closed, uh, the Dow and uh, DuPont mega deal and also the acquisition of Syngenta by ChemChina will drive the value into record levels for 2016. In addition, uh, if we take uh, those mega deals uh, out of the equation, the market remains uh, highly attractive uh, yet tight uh, when it comes to the valuations uh, because the sell side remains tight. Uh, there are not a lot of uh, assets uh, coming on the market. We also had a look at the interest rate development and whether the hike in interest rate will trigger uh, more assets to be divested. We don't really believe uh, that this will be the case. Uh, in fact, uh, the strategic um, companies, uh, they have a quite uh, strong balance sheet, but therefore this is not going to drive uh, a lot of asset disposal disposals. Um, in addition to that, however, we do see assets to come on the market driven out of the uh, mega deals um, because the regulator will require some uh, divestments uh, for competitive reasons. On the uh, buy side, uh, we continue to see a great eagerness to buy prime assets. Um, the in financial investors um, uh, continue to have a high pressure to invest funds and the strategic investors um, continue to look for assets in order to strengthen their uh, competitive uh, positioning and they have uh, good balance sheets and they can afford to do so.